In this video, we will learn how to limit tree control item selection to siblings. By default, LabVIEW limits the interactive selection of multiple items in a tree control to items that share the same parent. For example, we can select by pressing CTRL and clicking 3 and 4 because they are siblings or but not 1 and 2, they, these are not the siblings of 3 and 4. But we can select 6, 5, 2 and 1, they are also siblings. To allow the selection of items with different parents, right click the tree control and remove the check mark from selection mode, limit multi select to siblings item in the shortcut menu. And now by pressing control key, we can select even non siblings. We can also use the sibling multi select property to programmatically limit the selection of multiple items to siblings or to allow the selection of items with different parents. So at the moment, sibling multi select is turned off. So now we can select unrelated items. Let's turn it on, run the code and now we can only select the siblings and non siblings cannot be selected. If we limit the interactive selection of multiple item items to siblings, we still can select items with different parents programmatically by using local variable. For example, 5 and 6 are multi sibling multi select is turned on, and now we can select non siblings by using this local variable by let's say 4 and 5, which are not, of course, siblings. So let's run the code. And non siblings are selected, even though select limit multi select to siblings is turned on or we can also use the
value property to achieve same. For example, 3 and 2 are not siblings. And multi select is turned on. So, if we run this code, then non siblings also get selected, even though the property is forbidding it. However, we then cannot add new items to the selection interactively. If this code is running, then if I click, then such selections are not allowed. If we enable the limit multi select to sibling shortcut menu item, but there are multiple non sibling items already selected, subsequent selection behavior might not be intuitive. So, let us try to select other items. Now we are confused. If we reset the selection to something valid, the selection behavior returns to normal. Now only the siblings can be selected and non-siblings will not be selected.